Things are going to be moving forward. Let's please move forward with the lines and uh, make sure that you are sharing your carpet with anybody else uh, to give as many people as much room as possible. And inshallah, once we have done this exercise, we will be able to sit back down, inshallah, and give room for our brothers and sisters to join us. For our sisters uh, that might want to join us at the back, on the bleachers at the back, it's okay for you if you want to sit on the bleachers at the back because you're still facing the Qibla uh, in order to accommodate as many people as possible. But for the brothers and sisters that might be sitting on the bleachers to the left and the right, we ask that you please vacate those seats as we are keeping those open. If you don't have a reason to seat on the bleachers on the left or the right side of the arena, we ask that you please exit those seats. Insha'Allah, continue to move forward as much as you can as I'm beginning to see pockets of spaces open. And insha'Allah, may Allah open room for you and may Allah open space for you in Jannah. Say Ameen. Jazakumullah khairan. Let's continue to please move forward as much as possible and give room for our brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, there's more and more room opening up. Please complete the rows in front of you as much as you can. And for the seats that we have available, those seats on the right side and the left side of the musalla is reserved for those who are handicapped and elderly. If you do not need a chair, please save them for those who need them. Zakat al-Fitr is $15 per person. And this money, this fee is due before the start of the salah. You would see our volunteers with the buckets I'm raising them and uh, making announcements for them. So please make sure you make your zakat al-fitr before the salah starts. Continue to move forward as much as you can. As I can see brothers, room uh, in between the space of the brothers, as much as you can. Insha'Allah for those that are already on the front row, you can start sitting down. Uh, from, like, and make sure that you're sitting down only after those in the front row have sat down in front of you. So from the front row, you can start sitting down and then the row behind sits down like that, like that, like that until we get to the end and make sure that everyone is set. So front row, inshallah, you can sit down for the brothers in the front row. Then the row after that, you can sit down as well. So please sit down for the brothers in the front row. Please sit down and then the row after that, you can sit down as well, inshallah. Please start to sit down if you don't mind. Jazakumullah khair. Once you've made sure that there is no more space in front of you, you can start to sit down as soon as the row in front of you has sat down. Please make sure you are checking for every single space that we can spare. And we ask Allah to make space for you in paradise. To continue with the housekeeping announcement, after the salah, the imam will deliver a short khutbah. It is highly recommended to stay seated and remain silent during the khutbah to earn the full reward of the Eid Salah. There are free photo booths available in both lobbies for you to take pictures with your friends and families. Please make sure to stop by before you leave. And don't forget to tag at Raleigh Masjid in all your social media posts. Please take your seats once the, the row in front of you is full. Let's please take our seats, brothers, once the row in front of us is full. We can take our seats, brothers, once the, uh, the row in front of us is full. Your, your message relies on your support to continue providing its many services and programs. Please donate generously in the donation boxes as you leave or scan the QR code on the screen. If you are interested in helping to cover part of the cost of this Eid Salah, please approach the organizers or the Imams. The IAR Eid Fest celebration will be held this Saturday, April 13th at the IAR at 2 p.m. Come for a memorable day with friends and family and come enjoy the traditional, uh, authentic Palestinian khunafa, as this will also be available and distributed on that beautiful day. 
and we would also be using this day to support humanitarian efforts in the going conflicts. The early bird tickets are currently available at $2 per person, and all proceeds, as I mentioned, will go to humanitarian aid. Learn more and make sure that you purchase your tickets at ncaid.org, that is ncaid.org, or by scanning the QR code on the screen. Tickets at the door on that day will also be available at a higher cost if capacity allows. As we celebrate this joyous day of Eid, let's make sure that we continue to recite the Takbirat until the Salah starts. As this room is full of brothers and sisters, let our voices be heard. And let's make sure that we're saying this takbirat together and let's participate in the sunnah together. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi Alhamd. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illa Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar wa lillahi alhamd Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allah Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar wa lillahi alhamd Allah wa akbar Allah wa akbar Allah wa akbar la ilaha illa Allah Allah wa akbar Allah wa akbar wa lillahi alhamd Allah wa akbar Allah wa akbar La ilaha illa Allah Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Wa lillahi alhamd Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allah Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Wa lillahi alhamd Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allah Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Wa lillahi alhamd Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allah Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Wa lillahi alhamd Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allah Walillahi alhamd Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allah 
الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد جزاكم الله خير brothers and sisters uh, the final announcements and housekeeping uh, the Zakat al-Fitr is $15 per person, $15.15, and this is due before the Salah. You might see some of our volunteers going through the rolls. Please make sure you pay this before the Salah. After, and the chairs on the right and the left side of the Musalla are reserved for those who are handicapped and elderly. If you do not need them, please save them for those who need them. After the Salah, the Imam will deliver a short khutbah and it is highly recommended to stay seated and remain silent during the khutbah to earn the full reward of the Eid Salah. There are free photo booths available in both lobbies. Uh, and you're welcome to take pictures with your friends and families and make sure to stop by before you leave. And don't forget to tag your masjid at Raleigh Masjid in all your social media posts. Your masjid relies on your support to provide its many services and programs. Please donate generously in the donation boxes as you leave or scan the QR code on the screen. If you're interested in uh, helping to cover part of the cost of this Eid Salah, please approach the organizers or the imams. The IAR Eid Fest celebration will be held this Saturday at, uh, on April 13th at the IAR at 2 p.m. Join us for a memorable day and enjoy some traditional, authentic Palestinian khunafa, as this would also help to support humanitarian efforts. The early bird tickets are $2 per person and they're still available. You can purchase your tickets at nc.org or by scanning the QR code on your screen. The tickets at the door on that day will also be available, but at a higher cost, if capacity allows. As, uh, and inshallah, we would like to ask that we all stand at this time. Please get up for your salah and start to make straight rows and fill in all gaps in between. And this should take about a little bit. So inshallah, let's make sure we're standing up for the Salah. And inshallah, at this time, I'd like to invite Imam Muammar Dahnoon to um, come explain to us how the Salat al-Eid is going to be observed and share some other announcements. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Inshallah ta'ala, wanted inshallah to ta'ala to take this opportunity to explain to you inshallah the description of Salatul Eid. 
uh, inshallah ta'ala we will have the description and also we will have mashallah a shahada so you can go ahead and be seated now i don't want you to keep being standing go ahead and sit down so we can allow those who are outside to come in inshallah jazakumullah khair for filling in go ahead and sit down inshallah ta'ala inshallah we will do the announcement and also make the last takbirat and then we will stand for Eid inshallah go ahead sit down inshallah because we have a shahada that we would like you to witness and we'd like everyone to see the shahada my dear brothers in the back please sit down so you can inshallah ta'ala allow those behind you to witness the shahada inshallah ta'ala have a seat inshallah Insha'Allah, we will be beginning the Eid prayer shortly. Before we begin, we will share a brief explanation of how Salatul Eid is performed. Salatul Eid consists of two rak'ahs, two units of prayer, similar to Salatul Fajr, that is prayed in the morning, but with some additional takbirat, additional times saying Allahu Akbar. The Imam will begin the Salah with the Takbiratul Ihram, saying Allahu Akbar, and follow it with seven additional takbirs, seven additional times saying Allahu Akbar. The Imam will proceed to recite Al Fatiha as done normally, followed by a short surah. Then, when we rise from sujood, from prostration, for the second rak'ah, the second unit of prayer, the Imam will say Allahu Akbar and follow it with five takbirat, five additional times saying Allahu Akbar and proceed as was done in the first rak'ah. During the short pauses in between the takbirat, it is optional to recite short forms of dhikr such as Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar. The rest of the prayer is complete as normal. In summary, the first rak'ah has seven additional takbirat, and the second rak'ah has five additional takbirat. If your own count is different from what the Imam does, do not worry and continue to follow the Imam. After the salah, the Imam will deliver a short khutbah or sermon. It is highly recommended to stay seated and remain silent during the khutbah to earn the full reward of the Eid prayer. The khutbah, inshallah ta'ala, will take 10 minutes. So inshallah ta'ala, it will not be a long khutbah. So it is highly recommended that you get the full reward of praying and listening to the khutbah. If you must leave, please do quietly. After the khutbah finishes, you are welcome to greet each other, socialize, and begin the festival of the day of Eid. Please make sure that your rows are straight and that all gaps are filled. So this is the description, inshallah ta'ala, of the prayer. Alhamdulillah, we wanted you always to be part of every goodness and every khair throughout the month of Ramadan. We had many shahadas, and today we are blessed to have a new shahada. A new brother is about to enter the folds of Islam. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward everyone that was part of giving any da'wah and guidance. Inshallah ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you and allow you all to always be part of any goodness, any support, anything that you bring to bring people to Islam and facilitate da'wah. Inshallah, Imam Saif will perform the shahada and we will proceed with the salah right after. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We have brother Julian here who's ready to take his shahada. So we're going to recite the testimony of faith in Arabic and then we'll say it in English. <laughs> <laughs> 
So as I say, then you say after me. All right? Ashhadu. Ashhadu. An. Al. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abdu. Wa Rasulu. Wa Rasul. Now we'll say it in English. That I bear witness. Bear witness that there is no one that there is no one worthy worthy of worship of worship except Allah except Allah and I bear witness and I bear witness that Muhammad that Muhammad is his servant is a servant and messenger and messenger takbir 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 so after the salah please make sure to welcome our brother Julian to our family we're one family Allah bless you brother. Just a reminder again that the first rakah we're going to have a total of eight takbirs and the second one a total of six. Allahu Akbar. 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 Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Malik Yawm Al-Din, Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'in, Ihdin Al-Sirat Al-Mustaqim, Sirat Al-Lazeen An'amta Alayhim, غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى الله سمع الله لمن حميده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر, 
Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين هل أتاك حديث الغاشية وجوه يومئذ خاشعة عاملة ناصبة تصلى نارا حامية تسقى من عين آنية ليس لهم طعام إلا من ضريع لا يسمن ولا يغني من جوع وجوه يومئذ ناعمة لسعيها راضية في جنة عانية لا تسمع فيها لاغية فيها عين جارية فيها سرر مرفوعة وأكواب موضوعة ونمارق مصفوفة وزرابي مبثوثة أفلا ينظرون إلى الإبن كيف خلقت وإلى السماء كيف رفعت وإلى الجبال كيف نصبت وإلى الأرض كيف سطحت فذكر إنما أنت مذكر لست عليهم بمسيطر إلا من تولى وكفر فيعذبه الله العذاب الأكبر إن إلينا إيابهم ثم إن علينا حسابهم الله سمع الله لمن حميده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله (تصفيق) 
الله أكبر 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 لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات عمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدًا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد During the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam there was a man by the name of Zahir ibn Haram and he was a Bedouin he used to live in the outskirts of Medina and every time he used to come to the city, he used to bring gifts for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. From the flowers, from the honey, from the fruits that used to grow in the desert. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would reciprocate his generosity. So when he used to leave the city, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would prepare him for this journey back. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to love this individual. And he would say, Inna zahiran badiatuna. وَنَحْنُ حَاضِرُهُ That Zahir is our people from the outskirts. And we are his people within the city. Despite this person who was relatively unknown to the Sahaba, the Prophet ﷺ used to have that love for him. And that is the beauty of the Prophet ﷺ, that every individual, he would make them feel special. One day this individual, he was in the marketplace selling. And the Prophet ﷺ comes from behind him and he hugs him. And Zahir is startled by this and he says, who's there? Let me go. And he keeps trying to look and the Prophet ﷺ is ducking a little bit. So he's playing with him. And then he realizes it's Rasulullah ﷺ that's hugging him. So he leans into the embrace of the Prophet ﷺ to get more of that love and that barakah from the Prophet ﷺ. And then Rasulullah, he jokes and he says, who is going to purchase this slave? And even in his joking, the Prophet ﷺ was being truthful, meaning who is going to purchase this slave of Allah? And Zahir, he says, إِذَنْ تَجِدُنِي كَاسِدًا that if that's the case, then they're not going to find me very useful, very valuable. Because Anas radiallahu anhu, the one who's mentioning this story, he said that Zahir was somebody that he was physically unattractive. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa hears this statement and he says, لَكِنْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَنْتَ غالي. That with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are extremely valuable. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد. My dear brothers and sisters, we want to take away two things from this story. Just two things, if you can take it away from this story. The first is the Prophet ﷺ was a person who inspired. He uplifted people. This person. He believed his self-worth was from his physical appearance. The fact that he was not good looking, which meant that his value went down. But the Prophet ﷺ empowers this individual and tells him that that's not the case. But your value, you are extremely valuable in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we as Muslims need to be the source of in inspiration and the upliftment of others. When our spouses come to us, when people come to us, when our children come to us and they're down, uplift them, empower them, show the beauty of the character of the Prophet ﷺ. There's plenty of haters out there. Don't be like them. We need to strengthen one another, empower one another, uplift one another. The second point and the most important thing is the Prophet ﷺ tells them that the true value of an individual is in their relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not in their material positions. It's not in, in, 
their accreditations. It's not in their houses, their cars, their wealth, but rather it's with that taqwa and that connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this month that just passed us. The whole purpose that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala legislated for this, this month for us, is so that la'allakum tattaqoon. So that we would develop that mindfulness, that taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is the true value of a human being. Inna akramakum indallahi atqaqum. That the most noble of you is the one who is most God conscious. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inna Allah la yanzuru ila surikum wa amwalikum. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not look at your appearance, nor does he look at your wealth. Walakin yanzur ila kulubikum wa amwalikum. But rather, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks at our hearts. The iman that resides within our hearts. Our actions that follow from that iman. So as we bid farewell to this month, that aspect still remains. So we ask ourselves going forward, that how can I make sure that I keep developing that spiritual aspect of my heart and my deeds, so that when I stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I can present something that is beautiful. And Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, he wrote a letter giving advice to somebody. And I want you to imagine that Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, Amir al Mu'mineen, is giving all of us the same advice. There's a personal letter coming to you from Umar ibn Abdul Aziz. He writes and he says that I advise you with the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not accept other than it. He does not show mercy except for the people that have this. He does not reward except by taqwa. The ones who talk about this are Allah. But the ones who act upon it are a few. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you and I amongst them. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Walillahi alhamd. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum. ورسائل المسلمين والمسلمات فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين وصل الله على نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد truly this is an Eid that is different than any other Eid as we enjoy and we celebrate, we remember our brothers and sisters who are suffering across the world, in Palestine, in Sudan, in Yemen, and all across the world. And we, at the same time, also coming into this Ramadan and entering into this Eid, I am sure that we have all lost people that are beloved to us. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward all of them. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be with the people in Gaza, in Sudan, in Yemen, that as we celebrate that we have that mindfulness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we're there for our brothers and sisters that keep making dua for them. Keep making dua for them. Even when you feel despair, keep making dua for them because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can turn the situation around at any time. And as local Muslim leaders representing the voices of over 30,000 community members in and around the Triangle region of North Carolina, the Triangle's Imam's Council remains steadfast in our condemnation of the indiscriminate attacks on civilians, the destruction of homes, houses of worship, hospitals, and schools, and the violation of human rights and international law in killing aid workers and journalists that persist in Gaza and other affected regions. This war has resulted in over 30,000 civilian deaths, predominantly children and women, the injury or mutilation of 70,000, and the displacement of more than 2 million people. Israel's blockade has severely restricted access to essential humanitarian aid. We demand an immediate halt to the suffering, a permanent ceasefire, and the facilitation of humanitarian aid. We urge the United States to cease military aid and arms sales that worsen the war and to press Israel to comply with the UN Security Council's resolution for a ceasefire and increased humanitarian aid. We seek the community's support in pushing for a lasting ceasefire and endorsing diplomatic efforts to secure a comprehensive and enduring peace in the region. In addition, incidents of hate, discrimination, and violence against Muslims, Arabs, and Jews continue to increase, reflecting a deeply concerning trend that affects our communities locally and nationally. The pain we feel is a mirror of the broader societal division and the urgent need for dialogue, understanding, and action. 
we broadly condemn all forms of hate. The Triangle Imams Council remains committed to the values of peace, justice, human dignity, and coexistence among all people, regardless of their faith, ethnicity, or nationality. We pray for an end to the war, an end to the illegal occupation, and for the restoration of security and stability in the region. We also pray for an end to the bias and discrimination against all people in this country. We are hopeful for a future where all can live and thrive in harmony throughout the world. Ameen. If I can request you just to be seated for another five minutes, I'd like to call upon Brother Ala Oda just to give some words of how we can support our brothers and sisters across the world and in Palestine during these difficult times. And Eid Mubarak to everyone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Brothers and sisters, this deen of ours is not limited to prayers and fasting and zakat. It is a way of life. It is about identifying what is wrong in society and trying our best to correct it. You are the best ummah because you promote good and prevent evil. It is about helping your fellow brothers and sisters. We just finished in the last 10 nights of Ramadan, making itikaf, hoping to gain the rewards and forgiveness of Allah. May Allah accept that from us. But I want you to listen to this hadith I'm about to read very carefully. Ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma narrates in the hadith that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that I walk with a brother regarding a need is more beloved to me than I seclude myself in this mosque in Medina for a month. Brothers and sisters, think about that. It is better to help your brother and sister in a time of need than making then secluding yourself in Masjid al Nabawi during the time of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Brothers and sisters, we see the wrong in the world and we have to do our part to stop it. We live in a country that is perpetrating oppression with our very own tax dollars. We need to become active, we need to organize ourselves. We are limited to what we can do with our hands, but we still have our voices. And today, let us use our voice for the next few minutes to call out oppression. Let us use our voice to stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Palestine. We're going to do a very short protest, and I want you to scream at the top of your lungs during this protest. Because even if our brothers and sisters in Gaza cannot hear you, even if the powers that be refuse to listen to you, even if the media refuses to cover you, know that Allah, the Lord of the people, hears you and sees you. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, please repeat after me and let's bring some energy. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Long live Palestine. Long live Palestine. We want justice, you say how? In the siege on Gaza now. We want justice, you say how? In the occupation now. In the millions, in the billions. We are all Palestinians. Not another nickel, not another dime. No more money for Israel's crimes. 
From Raleigh to Palestine, occupation is a crime. Gaza must have food and water. Israel, Israel, stop the slaughter. The people united will never be defeated. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Long live Palestine. Long live Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Long live Palestine. Long live Palestine. We want justice, you say how? End the siege on Gaza now. We want justice, you say how? In the occupation now. In the millions, in the billions. We are all Palestinians. Not another nickel, not another dime. No more money for Israel's crimes. From Raleigh to Palestine. Occupation is a crime. Gaza must have food and water. Israel, Israel, stop the slaughter. The people united will never be defeated. Free, free Palestine. Long live Palestine. Hello, this is the last round. Let's really make some noise. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Long live Palestine. Long live Palestine. We want justice, you say how? In the siege on Gaza now. We want justice, you say how? In the occupation now. In the millions, in the billions. We are all Palestinians. Not another nickel, not another dime. No more money for Israel's crimes. From Raleigh to Palestine. Occupation is a crime. Gaza must have food and water. Israel, Israel, stop the slaughter. The people united will never be defeated. Free, free Palestine. Long live Palestine. Eid Mubarak, Jazakallah khair. Eid Mubarak to everyone. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward every single one of you to be with our brothers and sisters all across the world to put smiles on their faces just like he brought us joy today. May Allah accept from everyone. Taqabullah minna wa minkum a'mana salih. Eid Mubarak, please exit safely and give a time to your brothers and sisters in front of you to exit. There will be refreshment to the right and to the left, inshallah. Take your time to exit. Don't rush, please. Allah.
Amen.